Uh, do you find yourself comfortable around minorities and why? Yeah, absolutely. I'm totally appreciative of all different kinds of people. I think something that I bring to the table that's very different than a lot of other people is that I've lived in other countries where I am not the dominant you know, race, ethnicity. I know what it's like to live in a community where people don't speak your language or people act different than you. And what that has brought to me is a sense of compassion and empathy for people who live their lives differently. I don't judge other people by what they do in their life, but I want to learn. So I'm willing to interact with everybody and anybody and learn about their situation and then apply my talents to help them be what they want to be in their life. Mm -hmm. Why should black people vote for Sidney Bayer? Because I am probably the only person out there that will call out white people on systemic racism. And I've done it through my literature. I've done it through my work with the Future Makers Coalition. I've done it through my work with other nonprofits in the area. I actually brought to the district's attention through several reports that I wrote about the equity uh, gaps in the high school graduation rate, how black students graduate only 65% of the time compared to white students who, only gra who graduate 83% of the time, and helping to drive some of those conversations led by students about why this is, helping people to understand that racism is, is existing in our community, and people don't want to acknowledge that, but I think that I'm somebody who talks about that quite frequently. I'm willing to have uncomfortable conversations. I'm willing to humble myself as a white person to understand and listen what it means to be somebody in the black community and to interact with our government systems here and to work to make it better for black people and for everyone in our community.